this week's Keeping It Real, Cam Marston says he has a question for you, and he's curious if you have a question for him. A story that lives in legend in my family is the day my mother interrupted a story about a boastful, largemouth bass fisherman. And my mother, in full innocence, asked, who had the large mouth, the fish or the fisherman? She'd never heard of a largemouth bass. But considering the context of the story, it was a legitimate question. The group fell silent and stared. Someone then explained to her about the species of fish. While the story gets repeated because of the question, my memory of the story is her reaction after getting the explanation. She began laughing at herself, at how silly her question must have sounded, at how perfectly naive she was. I love the memory, laughing at herself, fully confident in herself and her innocence. No need to be embarrassed, self-composed, self-confident, and self-aware. I have inherited the questioning part of my mother. I ask a lot of questions, and I can't exactly explain why I want to know these things other than just to know them. Do the answers make my life better? I don't know. It certainly makes me happier to learn these things. Do I make my environment better by asking so many questions? I don't know. Do I make the people who I ask questions of better? Yes, until a certain point. I was asked to go to the back of the line at a tour of the Biltmore House in Asheville, North Carolina, when the tour guide said we were on room number two of the 20-plus we were scheduled to see that day, and we were already an hour behind schedule. My questions were to blame. Today, I'm participating in an academy hosted by the FBI, and one of my fellow participants said we need to stop asking questions so the agent can get on with their slides. The comments weren't targeted at me exactly, but I was asking a lot of questions. I find incurious people boring. I've learned it's the single characteristic that makes me interested or not interested in a person is are they curious about things. Plenty of people are not. Plenty of them. What they see and what they get and what they observe and what they hear is fine. No questions asked. They find me annoying that I want to know more. However, at the same time, I can't imagine going through life not wanting to know. And unfortunately, the more I feel I know, the more questions I ask. Further, I've never been reprimanded for asking a bad question. For too many questions, yes. For bad questions, no. People seem to like being asked. I recently finished a great biography of Leonardo da Vinci. He was famous amongst his contemporaries for his insatiable curiosity, and many of his questions led to breakthroughs in his artwork and his inventions. One note he made to himself was to learn about the tongue of woodpeckers. Such a seemingly random thought, but a question to which he wanted an answer. I think I would have liked da Vinci. I'd have loved to sat with him and maybe asked him some questions. I'm Cam Marston. Just trying to keep it real. To hear more commentaries, search for Keeping It Real with Cam Marston on your favorite podcast app or follow Cam Marston on social media.